Panama City Beach officials say the city will start hosting large special events once again. Back in early August, the city canceled five major events, including the Pepsi Gulf Coast Jam, due to a rise in COVID cases. As News 13's Anna Hoffman tells us, the events may go on now, but organizers are going to have to make some concessions. Almost two months ago, Panama City Beach City Manager Drew Whitman sent out these emails canceling major events on the beach. Back in May of 2020, the City Council passed a resolution that any special events, if COVID rates went up, the ICU capacity was at max at the hospitals, any special event would have to be denied. After watching the downward trend in local COVID-19 cases, Whitman says it's time to bring people back together. Yeah, we're seeing a better trend with the ICU numbers. The positivity rates have come down quite a bit for the hospitals. Whitman pulled the permits for the events in the first week of August. Numbers released from Ascension Sacred Heart officials show there were 132 people hospitalized for COVID-19 at the time. The most recent data from the hospital shows only 58 patients. Whitman says as long as the cases stay down, then most of Events will happen to ensure that there are no more cancellations. Event organizers are making some major adjustments for the upcoming Pirates of the High Seas Festival run by the Tourist Development Council. People can search for treasure all across Panama City Beach and also from the comfort of their own homes. We decided to bring that virtual component back for this year in addition to our in person event. TDC officials say to limit the crowds, there will not be a Pirates Parade. Instead, there will be a treasure hunt spread out across the beach and online. Visitors can still participate in the pirate fun, but not have those mass gatherings. Um, and we extended the treasure hunt through the entire week, so there won't be so many um, large groups. Despite lower COVID cases, Whitman says some events are still too risky. Sand Jam was such a large event, there's no way I could do a conditional denial on them. In Panama City Beach, Anna Hoffman, News 13, Panhandle Strong.